Let's continue the chapter Fun with Numbers. Now we will do a very interesting question. One day, India and South Africa were playing a cricket match in Gohati. India won the toss and started to bat. The commentator says, Dhoni is on 90. Do you know who is the present captain of the Indian cricket team? Virat Kohli. But before that, our captain was MS Dhoni and he is popularly known as Captain Cool. So the commentator on the left hand side says, Dhoni on 96, only one ball left. Will he complete his century? And look at this, what a marvelous six. Has he completed his century? So do you think, was Dhoni able to complete his century? How many more does he need to score a century? A century has 100 runs. He has already scored 96. So how many more runs does he need? He needs 4 more runs. But how will you know that was he able to score 4 more runs or not? If you look above the red arrow, we can see the umpire. Do you know what signal is he conveying? Yes, it's a 6. So Dhoni has scored a 6. Now he already scored 96 runs. If we add a 6, then what will be his total score? 96 plus 6 is equal to 102. He has not only scored a century, but he has scored two more runs than the century. So hip hip hooray! So we can say Dhoni scored 96 plus 6 that is equal to 102 runs. Now look at the screen. We have four players and we need to find out how many more runs they need to complete a century. Player 1, he has scored 93 runs. So how many more runs does he need? 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. You are right. 100 minus 93 is equal to 7. He needs 7 more runs. Player 2 has scored 97 runs. How many more does he need? He needs just 3 more runs. 97 plus 3 is equal to 100. Player 3 has scored 89 runs. Oh, he needs to score a lot more runs to reach his century. 100 minus 89 is equal to 11 runs. He needs 11 more runs to score a century. Player 4 is very, very close. He has scored 99 runs. He better be careful because he just needs one more run to score a century. Now look at the scorecard of few players. APJ has scored 128 runs. AS has scored 100 runs. CK 99. DM has scored 162 runs. KSP 152. MD 
has scored 178 runs, PK 105 runs, ST 141 runs, TPK 112 runs and VVS 127 runs. Now by looking at the scorecard, can you tell by how many runs CK missed his century? CK has scored 99 runs and to make a century, he should have scored 100 runs. So clearly we can say that he has missed his century by one run. Who are the two players? who have scored almost equal runs. Not equal, but almost equal runs. So by looking at the scorecards, we can say that AS has scored 100, CK has scored 99. So we can say they both have scored almost equal runs. But if we watch carefully, there is another pair of players who have scored almost equal runs. That is APJ who has scored 128 and VVS who has scored 127. So another possible answer for this question would be APJ and VVS. Dash scored a complete century, no less, no more. So we already know that it is AS as he has scored 100 runs and he has completed his century, he has scored no more, no less, exactly 100 runs. Most runs scored by any batsman are, for this we will need to look at all the scores and need to find the greatest number or the largest number in this scorecard. Here we can see that the number 178 is the biggest and it is scored by MD. So MD is the batsman who has scored the highest number of runs. Dash and dash have a difference of just one runs between them. This question also has two possible answers. First, APJ and VVS, they have a difference of one run as APJ has scored 128 and VVS has scored 127 runs. And the other possible answer is AS and CK. As AS has stored, scored 100 runs and CK has scored 99. Dash scored two more runs than one and a half century. Now we'll have to think about it. One century has 100 runs and a half century has 50 runs. So, one and a half century will be equal to 100 plus 50, which is 150. So, we have to look at a player who has scored two more runs than 150. If we observe carefully, it is the player named KSP. He has scored 152 runs. So let us check our answers once again. CK just missed his century. How many runs did he need to make a century? Answer is 1. AS and CK scored almost equal runs. AS scored a complete century. No more no less. Most runs scored by any batsman are it is by MD he has scored 178 runs. 
APJ and VVS have a difference of just one run between them? The answer can also be AS and CK. Then KSP scored two more runs than one and a half century. Let us answer a few questions. How many make a pair? Two. How many days are there in a week? Seven. How many years in a decade? Ten. How many players make a cricket team? Eleven. How many make a dozen? Twelve. How many states in India? Presently, 29. How many runs in a century? 100. How many bones in a human body? 206. So, how many runs for a triple century? 300. And how many stars are there in the sky? Well, I have never been able to count. Have you ever counted? There are infinite number of stars in sky. So as we can see here, the numbers are gradually increasing from ones to tens to hundreds. And here in this chapter, we will also study numbers up to a thousand or more. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Happy learning!